Today, we formally filed 10 counts uh, against the defendant, uh, Chow. The first count is murder in the first degree against Dr. John C. It has an enhancement of lying in wait. I'll talk about that momentarily. It also has an enhancement for the personal use of a firearm. The lying in wait with the personal use of a firearm makes this case alone, without more, life without the possibility of parole, assuming we can prove all the charges and that the jury finds that the enhancements are true, or death. With respect to that whole deliberation, that will now open up a whole process that the district attorney's office engages in, and that is to uh, hear from all sides. That means I'll take, uh, I'll be meeting with the victims when it's appropriate to get their view on the death penalty. I'll also be meeting with counsel uh, once they're ready, assuming they want to meet and talk to us about the defendant and his past and why he may or may not uh, be suitable or why they might be asking for life without the possibility of parole or something else. Count two, um, and through count uh, six, are all attempted murder on the other five victims with premeditation and deliberation. So the theory obviously is trying to kill all these particular victims, but it was premeditated and deliberated. That goes back to the whole idea of how this was all set up. Um, and I'll get to that, and then counts seven through 10 are the possession of four destructive devices with the intent to kill or to harm. And that goes to the explosive devices that we discussed uh, yesterday at the sheriff's press conference with respect to the items that were found in an, another bag uh, that had the smell of uh, gasoline or some other substance which led to the discovery of those explosive devices.